Hello and welcome to this beginner's tutorial on automation in Reason. Automation is extremely powerful in Reason. There are lots of things you can automate. Pretty much everything on the instruments that you see can be automated. There are a number of ways to do it and it can really enhance your track. Just put together a little piece here that uh, this morning and I'm just going to apply a little bit of automation to it and show you the number of ways that you can do this. Um, I'll just let you listen to it without any automation. Okay, so if you have got a MIDI keyboard, um, just briefly let's look at this. You can go into Edit Preferences, Control Surfaces, and here's where you can auto detect your control surface if you've got the drivers installed you should be good to go. You can actually add one here choose the manufacturer and the model and then it will allow you to automatically find it so if you press a key on the keyboard or a pad or whatever it will should detect it and you're good to go. So let's have a look at some ways of automation uh, using automation in Reason. So let's take a look at this bass line first of all. So I'm going to solo it out and just play it to you. It's been produced in the subtractor here see the notes that I've pumped in on my MIDI keyboard. So uh, what we can do is if we go over here to the filter, let's say we want to put some automation on this and maybe bring in the bass line gradually. Obviously I can just adjust this now to hear what it sounds like. But if I wanted to apply the automation on any element on the majority of instruments you can just right click and do edit automation. What this will do in your sequencer is create you a filter frequency lane within the track for that instrument. You can then use the pencil tool here and you can block out where you want to put the automation or you can just draw a continual block right across. Switch back to the selection tool, double click to go inside it and using the pencil tool again I can start to draw in the automation. So I'm going to start at zero and I can gradually you notice on the right here, look, it's dropped now and it's got a green box around it to indicate automations in play. I can then start to draw in the automation that I want. I'm going to snap this to bar so it's. There we go. So you can hear that coming in now. So the automation's applied now on the bass line, so I can take the solo off. gradually comes in. So that's one way of applying the automation which is pretty straightforward. Uh, what I'm going to do is just right click that. Uh, actually what you can do if, you, if you're not happy with that you can right click just on the actual uh, filter frequency again and do clear automation here and that will completely roll it back so there's no automation on it at all so you've just got the baseline coming in from the start. The other way you can do it is, is using your MIDI keyboard so I'm using an Oxygen 25 uh, on preset 10 and uh, that some of these map quite nicely over to um, the uh, instruments within within Reason. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, just show you how you select that here. So you can record enable parameter automation on any of these uh, particular tracks here and then record enable. Okay, what I can then do is I can uh, just record automatically uh, using my keyboard uh, the, uh, the the automation. So what I can do here is if I move 
channel 1 on my MIDI keyboard it's actually manipulating the filter on there and you can edit the, the mappings here in order to um, program them to certain uh, knobs or buttons on your MIDI keyboard so what I can do here is I'm going to make sure the knobs turn right down and then I'm going to gradually bring it in so I'm not using the mouse, not drawing anything, I'm just going to do this real time using the MIDI keyboard so once these two guys are selected here I can just hit uh, record or on the oxygen 25 I've got a record button so I can hit that and it will start to record my automation from the position I have selected here I've got a pre count on here just to get me prepped for doing that so uh, and I've also got a record button on the, the oxygen so I'm going to hit that so I'm not using the mouse at all so here we go Okay, so that's recorded that piece and if we go back and solo out the bass line you'll hear that gradually coming in on the right you can see the automation working so that's a second way you can do it third way I'm just going to clear that again is leaving these two guys enabled here I can just hit record or record on my keyboard and I can just start to manipulate some of the values and it will automatically create me the automation lanes within the track for the bass line and make the according uh, the relevant changes so all I'm going to do is hit record and, and manipulate a few things inside here using a combination of the MIDI keyboard and the mouse so here we go drop this right down again So, so you can see there look I started tweaking the master level and it's also created me an automation line for that so if you've got multiple selected they will snap to whatever setting you've got here as well where you can individually adjust these so you know even once you've recorded that if you still feel that it's not quite accurate enough you can go inside and you can manipulate some of these points there's an option in edit preferences as well under general for automation cleanup level and uh, if you feel that you know you're getting too many points there it's getting a bit cluttered uh, while you're recording uh, this will you can adjust this level to be uh, normal minimum or right through to maximum the way it cleans up there so again if you're not happy with that you can just clear the automation and we're back where we were in the beginning so the same really applies for any of these instruments I can adjust the filter on the NN19 just making sure sorry I have that selected I can manipulate this while it's playing as well and we could record that as well if we wanted to so pretty powerful stuff automation um, we can do the same with the guitar here we just loop there so we can maybe just on this end piece we can drop the filter off here if we play this back so really simple to apply three different ways of doing it manipulate you know automate as much as you need you can automate stuff on the mixer as well the levels here really powerful yeah, 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 yeah.